Come on, you fucking pussy. What's the deal? Where's the gun at, you fat shit? Open fire! Open fire! We're going to be talking about Boogie2988, a talentless content creator here on the platform, total fucking loser. Um, I don't understand why this loser is popular. Uh, I, I just have this bias against people who are talentless and have a large following. It, it upsets me, you know, because this guy can't do anything. He's just total needy basket case. But nonetheless, this is a human being, all right? And he was being accosted by another content creator who was banned off this platform, uh, Frank Castle. And the ordeal was pretty dramatic. Long story short, Frank Castle antagonizes him. He, you know, he kind of engages in bullying. And Frank Castle's content largely consisted of him kind of, I don't know, getting in people's faces. I mean, that's what I heard. I'd never seen the content before because he was banned. But he was in Boogie2988's uh, city. And he ends up showing up to his door. And everybody in this situation acted poorly. Now, before I continue, I just, I just want to point out how stupid everybody involved is. You know, just everybody involved sucks. And this is why I always preach peace. I always preach nonviolence. I always preach, um, you know, just being kind and gentle to people because you never know who you're really dealing with on the internet. You, re you genuinely don't. I had a, a debate slash conversation with an Antifa organizer. Her name was Andrea. Her YouTube channel was Cyberdemon531 or 135, whatever. And uh, I was under the impression that our conversation would be really contentious and combative, but she ended up being kind of nice to me. And the conversation I planned only for an hour ended up being two hours. And it was largely friendly. And I only feel comfortable saying this because it was revealed during the two-hour stream. I uploaded it. She uploaded the entire thing, so on and so forth. So, uh, again, just because I say this, I don't. This isn't an excuse to harass this individual or or or, or bully this individual. And I mean that. I genuinely mean that. But they confessed to me that they had suicidal thoughts. That you know they they had these problems, and uh, you know I thought that was touching that they they trusted me enough with that information. And uh, you know I would never use this against anybody. Again, I'm not saying this to make a joke. Uh, this is this is serious. This is why I. You know, I went in there. I wasn't mud slinging. I wasn't mean to this person. I, I didn't never troll this person. Uh, we had a genuinely cordial conversation, and I have this information in mind now that this person had these thoughts, and it was brought about because I I, I mentioned it's like, oh yeah, like I, I love guns. I, I I build firearms. I maintenance them. I clean them. You know, I I service them for for whoever, right? And you know, and, and then she brought it up. So. You know, again, you just, when you talk with people on the internet, you just you don't know who you're really talking to. You understand? You know, it's just like you don't really understand what someone is going through, what is happening in their mind, what is going on in their life, and because you just might be the thing that drives them to do something insane. Now, in Frank's case, it's abundantly clear he knows what Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight is about. He knows this guy is mentally ill. He knows this guy has problems. But again, it's the internet, so he doesn't really know, right? And he shows up to his house. Boogie2988 walks out, confronts him, shoots the gun into the air like a fucking moron. So a lot of things went wrong here. A lot of things went wrong here. First off, if Boogie2988 and the idiot roommate, if they genuinely believe they were in danger, you have the means to defend yourself. Shelter in place, call the police, and you stand your ground in the event that someone tries to break in and cause further harm. There's no need to open the door and expose yourself to a threat, knowing that there is a threat at the front, uh, an alleged threat to, at the front door. Uh, this is stupid. Uh, I think Boogie2988 knew what, uh, that, that he was not in, in, in any sort of danger. If, if somebody genuinely believed they were in any sort of danger, they wouldn't have opened the fucking door. Especially since Frank Castle admitted that he was going to show up to his house and, and confront him. Again, which is an insanely stupid thing to have done. Uh, Frank Castle is not innocent. Now, I'm just going to be honest here. I know I was you know kind of shitting on uh, the talentless hack, Boogie2988. Uh, and I'm a little biased for Frank Castle because I think he's hilarious. I was laughing my ass off. Uh, listening to that Keemstar interview, watching the clips, seeing the memes, uh, I was having a great time. Uh, but, but Frank Castle is not without sin. 
uh, it's very likely that he engaged in, at the very least, criminal harassment. He, he needlessly endangered his own life and the life of everybody around them, knowing that he is dealing with somebody who is mentally ill, somebody who is just not all there in the mind. And like, here's the thing. You know, Boogie2988 is cringe. The guy's a fucking loser. He's a total idiot. Just a hack, undeserving of all the followers that he has. Again, I don't know why he's so popular. This guy's a this guy's pure cringe. He fires a gun wildly into the air. It's a warning shot. Uh, you know, newsflash, geniuses. There's no such thing as a warning shot in the U.S. At least, you know, 99.9 percent of the times, you're gonna go to jail if you do such a thing. And then he says something stupid like "I shoot to wound," whatever. It's like no, Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. You're 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 a moron. You you don't know what you're doing. Uh, and if you shoot randomly into the sky, the bullet doesn't just disappear or fly off in outer space. It falls back down because it's, that's how gravity works. Uh, you know, this isn't fucking Call of Duty. The bullet has to go somewhere. And, you know, Boogie 2988 could have killed somebody. He genuinely could have killed somebody. Um, and people are like, oh, well, sh aim at the ground. Aim at the ground. You know, I saw the landscaping on this property. There's a lot of rocks. There's a lot of, you know, there's concrete. The, the, the ricochet could have fucking killed somebody. He could have killed himself. He could have killed his neighbor. He could have killed the dog. He could have killed Frank. Insanely stupid. Again, we have these fucking nerds on the internet. These gamers. They, 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 they don't understand how, how, how these things work. They, you know, it's just like, this is the fucking video game, dudes. Like, this is legitimately not a video game. Um, everybody in this situation sucked. Now, now, let me say something about this roommate. Let me say something about this roommate. He ends up, like, okay, so they admitted in the film, or in, in the video, that, you know, Boogie and the roommate were friends for many, many years. They'd known each other for a long time. Okay, that's fine. Roommate knows Boogie is mentally ill. Boogie has serious issues. Boogie is not just a danger to himself, but he's, in, he's a danger to others. And he feels like it's okay to keep this firearm in his home. Uh, that's a recipe for disaster. Uh, in, in many states, if you are living in a home with somebody who is not allowed to have firearms, you are not allowed to have the firearm. Not in that home at the very least. If, you know, like, like I know somebody, I know a vet, they're not allowed to have firearms in the home at all because he suffers from PTSD. He was a veteran. He served honorably. I don't think he would ever hurt anybody, but because of what he's going through, what he has to deal with mentally, he's not allowed to have the guns in the house. And it's very unfortunate, and you know I wish there was a remedy for that. Uh, I don't want to get into that kind of topic here, but you know this is a reality for some for some Americans. You know they just they can't have the guns in the house, and like I'm a pro two A guy, but I mean you know the, these rules, the, you know the, this philosophy exists for a reason. Boogie two nine eight eight has demonstrated clearly that he is not to be trusted around firearms. He, he used it recklessly. The things he said demonstrates he's, he's a fucking idiot. He's, he's, he's a danger to himself and others. This, this individual is unhinged. Besides being cringe, he's unhinged. And it shows. It was on display in this video. He made violent death threats towards Frank Castle, who did not appear to have made threats against him. Besides saying he was going to go to his house, he said it in a joking manner. Nothing that Frank Castle said, in my estimation, would constitute genuine, uh, a credible threat. Um, even, you know, posting the image saying, oh, I'm in your town, pussy, and tagging him. I don't, you can make a case that it's criminal harassment, but to say, to say or to suggest that it was, uh, you know, threats of violence, a death threat, that Boogie2988 is, is in any sort of trouble is, is a little bit far-fetched. Uh, will, will Boogie2988 be held liable for his actions? I hope so. But you got to keep in mind, this individual is deranged. He is unhinged. He is literally mentally ill. It's well documented. It's not an act. Uh, Boogie 2988 is a danger to others and himself. And Frank Castle clearly knows this. I don't know if he used this to his advantage. I don't know if he didn't take it seriously or if he believed it. The context matters. You know, the intent matters. There's not a lot of information at this time to go off of. I'm going to be leaving links in the description, but um, yeah, everybody in this situation sucked, man. Everybody in this situation sucked. Granted, Frank Hassel's fucking hilarious, but uh, you know, 
gotta we gotta be adults, right? We gotta be adults, and you know this stuff can't be. Uh, you know this can't be acceptable. Boogie two nine eight eight should be banned. I'm just gonna go out and say Boogie two nine eight eight absolutely needs to be fucking banned. Uh, this individual is is not mentally capable of handling the internet, and, and, I, and I genuinely believe that this individual ha- has had these mental episodes on full display. Um, the internet is not for him. Uh, he needs to step away from the internet. He needs to step away from content creation. Uh, besides not deserving it, he's just not capable of handling the these kinds of interactions with other people because he 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 made very gruesome, violent threats towards somebody who was literally not saying anything uh, of substance besides name calling, besides bullying, besides that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, um, you know this happened. Uh, this is legitimate, and you know it's, I gotta tell. I, it's why I always tell people: it's like aim for peace, aim for peace. Be kind, be gentle. Don't bully others. Don't threaten others. That sort of thing, because it'll come back to haunt you, man. It's not a joke. You're playing with people's lives if you do that shit. And uh, like I don't do that stuff. You know, like my, my conscience is clean. Um, you know, it's like yeah, I've engaged in a little bit of riffing. I've engaged in a little bit of trolling, but not nothing that would drive someone to suicide. Nothing that would drive someone to pick up a weapon and be a threat to others or themselves. Um, that's just not what I do. Again, I told you about Andrea. She had suicidal thoughts, and I was very courteous with her, very kind with her, and we had a cordial conversation. And I'm glad that it played out that way, and I wasn't a party to something like like this because I never want to get involved in this sort of drama. I don't, you know, it's kind of why I just do my own thing because I don't want to get involved with groups. I don't want to get involved in, in, in like these the little online clicks. You know, I just want to do my own thing. This is an educational channel. My channel is for everybody. I speak with anybody, regardless of what language you speak. You know where they're from in the world, what they look like. You know, I'm I'm cool with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't I'm not cool with, with bullying and any of that stuff. Um, again, I know it seems like I'm bullying Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight, but I, I'm just I'm sick and fucking tired of this guy. I'm sick and tired of these talentless hacks inheriting the earth, get, gaining the, this widespread popularity, using their 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 mental illness as a crutch or or as leverage to to gain popularity, gain notoriety. It's just so cheap and shitty and uh, really just slimy behavior. And then, of course, he, he has these these violent fantasies. And, and you know, and he, and again, he is he, he he you know, he's very vocal about them. He's very open about these violent fantasies against other, uh, you know, against people like Frank, who was just completely just goofing around the whole time that he can't tell the difference between, you know, joking around and, and horse playing versus reality. Or, or fantasy, you know, like he just he can't tell the difference between these things. He's he's un, he's unhinged, and uh, maybe that sounds far fetched, but I'm pretty sure there's things in the terms of service where uh, someone like Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight who exhibits this kind of behavior uh, warrants a ban. He definitely should be banned. He's um you know he's just he's a danger to himself and others. He's obviously a danger to 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 other people, and I think it would be the best thing for him. I do genuinely believe that because the internet is not for him. He, he's just, he can't, he's not all there, man. He can't handle it. He can't do it. He can't do it. Uh, so I'm going to be petitioning YouTube to, to deal with this guy. Um, because he's, you know, he's waving around these fucking guns. He's, you know, threatening to shoot other content creators. Um, you know, he's a liability. He's a liability to the platform. And, um, yeah, fuck that, man. Uh, but Frank, dude, you gotta, dude, you're playing with fire, man. You know, you're not just playing with fire, dude. You're playing with other people's lives. When when you go, you know, when you get get the, this kind of reaction, and you know, you got this retard aiming a gun around. You know, if if you're not shot, granted, that's fine. But you know, he could have killed someone else. You know, there's it looks like a nice neighborhood. There's probably a lot of families there. What what, what if it was some kid that got shot? Because Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight is a fucking retard, and he's got these issues, and and because of you antagonizing him because you being somewhere where you weren't supposed to be someone else died because of it you know there, there comes a point where it's just like it's not funny anymore and while i do like frank i think he's hilarious uh he deserved the ban that he got um you know this kind of content should not be encouraged under any circumstance whatsoever um you know again if you guys are ever put in this situation if you have the means to defend yourself you know f- f- Go to a place where you can barricade yourself safely, keep your family safe. You know, if you absolutely need to run, you have a way to uh, escape. But you call the police and you wait if you absolutely have to. Um, There's no need to expose yourself to any sort of threat or danger that's outside your home, especially if the, the individual at your door 
sort of say, is not exhibiting any type of behavior that would suggest to you that they're trying to break in. Uh, Frank was not trying to break in. The, the guy was a troll. The guy was a jokester. Uh, granted, the jokes are shitty. The, he went too far, but... Um, you know, the, the, there comes a point where the response is so unreasonable, you end up be, you end up looking worse and being worse than the guy who's actually doing the the relentless trolling. It's not funny, man. Um, but Frank is Frank is absolutely hilarious. I fucking love the dude. It's a it's a shame. I, I don't even know what his content was like prior to the band because I I just discovered him. But um, no, no, I can't be saying that shit because now it seems like I'm encouraging it. Um, so yeah. Uh, Boogie2988, if you end up seeing this, I think you're a fucking hack. Uh, if you have any sort of, uh, you know, sense of decency, any any sense of shame, you would delete your, your YouTube channel, you'd delete your Twitter, you'd delete your Instagram, you'd get off the internet, you'd stay off of it for many, many years, seek, seek help, you know, get, get, you know, just, just stay away from the internet, man, because it's just, it seems to be doing a lot more damage than good. You know, it's, uh... You just you've proven to everybody the the, the dangers of, of 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 this of this kind of online uh, uh, having this online discourse with people like you who are not stable, and, and what the consequences of that may be, and this is it, this is it. Peace out. You're fucking deranged. I'm asking you to leave. This is my home. You are not welcome here. You have threatened my life. I'm asking you to leave. In about thirty seconds, I'm gonna fire a warning shot. <laughs> We'll Fire it case. now! Okay. Fire the warning shot now! Is this what we have to do? I'm asking you to leave, Sam. Sam? Cameron, I don't know your fucking name. I'm asking you to leave. I'm asking you to leave, man. Please don't make me do this. Please don't make me do this. Can you just leave this property so I can leave? Why's this guy got a gun? I'm just here looking at because I feel threatened. This guy's about to kill somebody right yes. in front of you. Why I'm, are you I'm, on this property? Though? I'll shoot to wound. I promise you that. If you're gonna shoot to wound, you should shoot yourself. No, I plan to shoot you, bud. I'm asking right you here. to leave. Right here. Okay. Right here. Okay. I'm asking you to leave. You're pointing a gun at me? Yes. You are on my property. You have threatened my life. You are a fat. A castle doctrine. You're a fat. Castle doctrine means I get to take you inside and fuck you. Okay.